I like to start my morning by walking to the barn. It just wakes me up a little bit and I get to spend a little extra time with my sweet pupper Nemo. The very first thing I start doing when I get to the barn is soaking Foxy's senior grain. It's a little bit different of a texture than the other grains, so it takes longer to soak. And he is coming up on 21 years old, so his teeth are not that great. So, And his weight has gotten so much better ever since I started soaking his grain. And a couple other horses get their grain soaked as well, but I like to let this soak while I do all of that. And the timing normally works out pretty well. I like to throw hay before I feed the grain. It gives them something to munch on while I'm making the grain, and it also slows them down a little bit so they're not as starving when they get their grain. And then I move on to prepping everyone else's grain, and they all have different types of grain according to their needs. For example, Foxy's on a senior grain, um, Elliot is on a low starch grain, and Diesel's on a performance horse grain. I get asked a lot what I feed my horses, and I'll probably make a video on that eventually, um, but it's kind of complicated. But for the short of it, Diesel is on Tribute Calm and Easy, and he gets Horse Guard, Trifecta, and Outlast. I believe that's by Purina. I could be wrong. Um, and then, obviously, I'm not going to go into what my boarders get because that's their business, but I've got a couple horses on a Balancer, and then um, pretty much everyone else is on Tribute. All of these horses are in our upper barn. Um, we have two horses gone. One is on lease. One is at a show currently. So my morning routine is a little bit shorter. But I also have the lower barn, which is where some more of our boarders are. And then I just take this grain and I put it in the back of our little feed cart. And I go ahead and soak it. Almost every horse in the lower barn gets soaked, just coincidentally. Um, so I go ahead and soak that. And then by the time I finish my chores at the upper barn and I drive down to the lower barn, it's soaked and ready to go. First thing I do when I get here is I go ahead and go into the pasture and um, lock all these horses in. They're kind of like run-in stalls and they all have their individual stalls. They all know which stall they go in so it's a pretty simple process but they all eat different amounts of grain and take different amounts of time so I lock them in so they can't eat each other's grain. Then I come back around the front and they're all very patiently waiting and I go ahead and dump all the grain, of course take the one that takes the longest and dump his first and so on.
And finally, when I get back up to the upper barn, Foxy's grain is soaked, so I go ahead and give him that. And then I'll give Elliot his grain and continue on with my chores until everybody's done eating and can be let out of their stalls. I found a new recent obsession with keeping everything clean, which is not the easiest thing to do in a barn. But I've been trying to do little things like rinse out the buckets every single time I use them, and it cuts down on the fly population a little bit, but also just keeps everything a little bit cleaner and a little easier to maintain long term. After that, the upper barn is pretty much done eating, so it's time for turnout. This is Girlfriend. I don't think I've introduced her on my YouTube channel yet, but I'll get to that. She goes out in the round pen. We use it as a dry lot sometimes. Um, she gets hay and water out there. She's a little chunky. And then Diesel goes out in all his fly stuff, because if he doesn't, he will throw an absolute temper tantrum if a fly lands on him. And he goes out next to his little goat friends. He loves his little goat friends. They're his buddies, and they keep him sane. You can see the lower barn in the background of his pasture. So after I turn him out, I just walk right on over to that lower barn and put all the fly masks and grazing muzzles on these horses. And then I go back up to the upper barn and start stall cleaning. I won't put you guys through watching me do that, but here's a little before. While I'm cleaning the stalls, I'll also go ahead and fill the water buckets and the hay for when I bring the horses back inside, so that's all done. And then my last chore of the morning is to blow the aisle out so it's nice and clean for the boarders and to start on a fresh palette next time. And then we're all done for the morning, so Nemo and I walk back up to the house. <laughs> 